Welcome everybody to the Onward VR Master League. I'm your host Trip, and tonight we're gonna kick off Season 11, Week 4 early with some Rejects versus Murphy's Maniacs Challenge Match action. Now these teams are. This says they're gold rated. I'm not really sure if that's accurate. I don't know if these, both these teams have had their three matches yet. I guess they have to have if it's Week 4. But uh, yeah, a challenge match, a grudge match, if you will. So we're gonna pick it up. And we are getting ready and in the lobby. Let me find the info real quick. So you're in the lobby. And we have bands. So let's go over those real quick. The bands from these teams. The Rejects are banning USS Quest. And Murphy's Maniacs are banning Snowpeak. So two of the newer maps getting thrown out, unfortunately. Some of the more fun maps, in my opinion. I like playing both of those maps. And our map number one is going to be pretty funny because they threw out two of the new custom maps, but they're going to opt to play sand for map number one. So we're still going to get that close quarter tight action that we are going to miss out on because of the quest being out, but this should be just as fun. Now, let's take a quick look at... The lobby rosters. It does look like we have all 10 in. So the current active lineups on the reject side, we have Masu, Drewski, Velux, Chewy, and okay, these guys are just messing with me. To Ben Royal, I, I I don't know. They're just throwing letters together. There's not enough vowels in that name. And then on Murphy's Maniac side, we've got Sweet Bean, Murphy the Maniac, Lambowski, Captain Catmint and ace of spades and if you're ready for some onward action we're kicking it off there starting the lobby we're gonna start round one on map number one and we got the well objective here on the for the first one murphy's maniacs on defense this was a rejects choice and here we go Defense here looking pretty solid on the objective. Pretty tight. Not pushing out very far. We've seen a lot of teams play this differently. A couple of teams get really pushy, come out these doors over here, and decide that they want to get aggressive in the first couple of seconds, taking out people as they go up those steps towards where Masu is positioned. But that's not going to happen here. Chewy and Velux coming up on Sweet Bean's position, a position we've seen. We just saw last week as we watched a couple of other teams duke it out. Viper, I know, was hiding there. Seems like a pretty common spot. Far enough back that you can cover both approaches here, either out of the tunnels or through this opening. And they're going to be making those footsteps. They're clearing their corners, but they got to clear all the way into the corner. They're rushing it. They know that someone's there. Someone's probably there. She, Sweet Bean comes around the corner and does not find the kill. Valix and Chewie both get it. Now let's see if these replays work today. Here, either out of the tunnels or through oh, this opening. Oh yes, there we go. We have replays. They're gonna be making those footsteps. Drewski gets clearing their corners, but they gotta clear all the way into the corner. They're rushing it. Murphy got flashed there. Someone's there. Sure there. Someone's probably out. there. She, Sweet Bean comes around the More corner. More smoke's raining in on Murphy's position. That's gonna force her out because she cannot see. Not sure what this player's approach was. That's a that's a defender there. Volk trying to push up aggressively out the door. Captain Catman and Murphy still on objective, as well as Ace of Spades in that pretty common northern position on this objective. Be 
it's week four and we're seeing the meta evolve for these maps we're seeing common spots and common plays and i like it but i think that the the non-common spots the non-meta plays are the way to go still you gotta try new things every time it's worth doing it now at the beginning of the season because you can make up those points later whereas if you try out new things at the end of the season they might not go that well you might get knocked down on the leaderboard now there's a rotation here from chewy opting to not come in from the south side and what I thought was a pretty good approach. I'm just going to call this guy TB, okay? That's his new name. TB, Drewski, Chewy, MS Sue all creeping in, encroaching on the objective. Murphy in the corner. Chewy's going to check the corner. He's going to come around. He does get the kill onto Murphy. Now the rest of them are pushing up. Captain Catman in a bad spot. Ace of Spades needs to react. Catman gets Drewski. Now Chewy's going to look at that corner as well. Nade coming out. Ace of Spades get Masu on the north. Chewy takes down Captain Catman. Now the objective is open. Chewy not going for it. Ace of Spades gets TB. Chewy takes some shots. He's going for the objective. He's on the objective, but he doesn't go for the cap. He gets the kill instead. And the rejects take point number one. Jack's taking that first point. Chewy with four kills, four and oh so far in round one. Doing a pretty good job on the reject side. While we wait, we can look at the match page for these two teams and see what we have. These teams have played each other. Never. Is the Rejects a new... They're brand new team, I think. Yeah, since Season 11. So this is a brand new rookie team. Full roster for the Rejects is Masu, Chewy, Hoofdini, Reaper, Shane the Elf, TB, Veilux, and Drewski. And the full roster for Murphy's Maniacs is Murph the Maniac, Ace of Spades, Captain Catman, Lambowski, Sweet Bean, Reefer Madness, Sneaky, and Tricky. And it doesn't look like... So map history here, Murphy's Maniacs have played Sand once and did not win it. They lost all four rounds. But the Rejects, on the other hand, have played Sand twice, won both of those with 8 out of 12 rounds won. So the Rejects looking pretty strong on this map. And we'll see what happens as we go into round number two. Seeing the Rejects get the more aggressive approach. Or the C4 approach, C4 covering that doorway. Another C4 over there. Covering both angles with C4. Chewy pushing down to the south side, getting a little bit farther out than Sweet Bean was. Extending that position a little farther. Missing the cross though, but opting to go for a cross. Let's kick on those lasers so you can see where everyone's looking. Making a rotation here down to cover the approaches for this lane right here. I mean, that's a great line of sight as long as your teammates don't sh don't shoot you don't you know mistake you for an enemy then you should be pretty good sweet bean coming up the hallway on the south the rest of the team on the north all gonna try and come through that door c4 does go off not gonna catch anybody Now the nades come flying in. Ace of Spades gets one. Masu almost getting caught in that one as well. The res is going to come out. The screams might have been heard. The res is trying to happen. Murphy's looking for the second frag. She does get it. Another C4 goes off. Not going to catch anybody on the south side. Murphy pushing in now. 
There's four pushing through this door onto the objective. Veiluk's gonna get knifed. Um, poor Murphy's just gonna shoot him point blank. Very brutal kill there. Sweet Bean making a distraction in the south while the rest of the team push in on the north. TB and Drewski on objective. TB gets Murphy. Chewy gets Sweet Bean in the south. Now Captain Catman's pushing in. They're looking for the rotations. Lambowski gets Drewski. Chewy gets Lambowski. Chewy's crashing in from the south. Is he gonna be ready? Captain Catman goes down to TB and roll. Ace of Spades gets Chewy. Now he's looking for the final kill on a TB. They're looking for each other. And it's a trade, and Murphy's Maniacs take the point. Murphy's Maniacs getting that one, tying the game up one to one. If you're just joining us, you haven't missed anything. We're just getting this round kicked off. One more thing we forgot to look at on the match page. Let's look at the connoisseur picks. And it looks like 33 are favoring Murphy's Maniacs and only four are favoring the Rejects. And I believe three of them are on the Rejects team. So they don't really count. Dakin, if you're uh, listening to this, can we get a highlight or something on the connoisseurs? Teams voting for themselves need to be uh, highlighted so you can, you can, you can know. At least personally. I mean, I think it'd be more important to know if a team votes for the other team in their own matchup, but I'd like to know, you know. Now we're going to move on to a new objective. Going to the center, I believe. Center inside. We're hopping into round number three. You guys were worried I was going to leave the overlay up. Now basically, this is the exact opposite of what we just saw. The offense coming out of the well, which means that they're going to be able to get to these spots. Ace of Spades is going to come around the stairs, go up the stairs. Ooh, and a quick peek. Does he see it? Chewie sees him. Ace of Spades backing off. A couple of grenades would be really good there. Masood gets Murphy. Flashbang's going up. Grenades flying in from off screen, going a little far outside the map. Chewie does get Ace of Spades on the stairs and clears out this northern approach. Lambowski, however, with a great position up on top, being able to cover. He's looking for this angle right here, forcing them to go through that door. Maintains control over that uh, billboard building. Veilux looking for the peak. Chewie also looking for the peak. They're going to make the cross. Lambowski looks away at the wrong time. Captain Catman kind of exposed. Little, little far away from the objective. Sweeping also kind of far away from the objective. There's not a whole lot of places you can hide. You don't really want to be inside the objective. Chewie takes down Lambowski from the billboard because he gave up his angle. TB gets Captain Catman in the auto shop, and now there's only one Maniac still standing. Sweet Bean off objective. Can't see the other side of the objective. They could just walk in and cap at this point. Sweet Bean too focused on the fire right in front of her. Him, her, them. And she goes down in the trade. Rejects take their second point. Could have been a two-point conversion, but they went for kills instead. Now, if you were watching my cast on Sunday, yeah, it was Sunday. If you were watching my cast on Sunday, I did run replays, match. I ran map replays uh, in between rounds. We're not going to do that because it broke everything this time, last time. So we're going to keep running the instant replays and you will get a full on replay reel at the end of the match. We're looking into it. I promise. I am, I am pestering Noman every day about all the improvements that I want, and that's all that matters, is what I want, so.
But we just do it so we can bring you the sweet, sweet onward action. Shout out to everyone in chat that's following along. It's Tuesday. We're getting the early onward fix. And we're going into round number four on map one. The good early, early evening or early night onward cast. Get the popcorn, get your family, sit down around the TV. And here we go. Murphy's Maniac's not getting the mirrored spawn, spawning uh, a little bit farther south. Going to push across there, missing the cross from Drewski, but they're going to opt to go into the south hallway. I want to say tunnel, but it's not really a tunnel, is it? Tunnels have roofs and are underground. This is not underground. Shots ringing out from Chewy onto Murphy's door. I don't think he saw her. Set that. We're not really sure what's going on over there. We're going to move over here as the rest of the team. Drewski, Captain Catman, and Lambowski circling around. Nades going up. Nice flashbang there. Not sure why it was thrown so early because they can't get out of the door yet. That flashbang would have worn off. Velux gets sweet bean from the rooftop inside. Let's take a look over here where Chewy's pushing up. He has missed the cross. Murphy has pushed in towards the auto shop. Ace of Spades over there. Two on the west side now in the hallways. I don't know if, to call them, if I call them hallways or tunnels. I've confused myself. I'm going to come out. Are we going to see this tight angle? We're not going to see the tight angle that we've seen some other teams take. And Bowski going to come out the door now. And Valex is going to be ready for him. Masu picks up Cat Mint. Cat Mint. Coming out the other door, and both of those attackers are down. Now it's all up to Murphy. Putting shots down range. And she's going to get picked up here by Chewy if she's not careful. Ace of Spades on the ground, trying to push up. I turned off the over... There we go. Chewy does get Murphy. I was like, that sh those shots had to have landed. And then I realized my mistake. Now Ace of Spades, last man. Wait, no. Yes. I see two dots. Ah, we had a drop. Ace of Spades, last man standing on the attack. Planning out the approach. Honestly, can get inside pretty easily. Let's see, once... She... But TB is here. Sticking out? Oh, he's not sticking out because there's boxes there. Ace of Spades going to be rotating around looking for the kill onto Chewy now. Is Chewy going to be ready for this late round rotation? Ace of Spades not ready for Chewy's position. And the Rejects take their third point. Chewy 10 and 1 leading the Rejects kill, kill line. We did have a drop on the Maniac side. So we will be waiting for that player to get back in the lobby while we wait. Shout out to everyone in chat. And say hi to all the folks watching. And a shout out to our sponsors. You know them, you love them, but we're going to go over them anyways. ProTube VR, VR Cover, B Haptics, HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Cyber Shoes, Arma, VRWare, Asterion, and Fixed Gaming. They help us bring you all this crazy onward action. So go buy some stuff. I'm just kidding. You don't have to buy stuff. But do follow them. Follow their socials. Moving objectives. We're going to be moving to the auto shop objective. Murphy's Maniacs on defense. Got to hold out. Got to get every single round from here on out to stay alive on map number one. Can they do it? Let me know what you think in chat.
And let's take a look at the weekly matchups page. Let's see if there are any other good onward games that you guys want to see. Looking at the votes for matches. And the connoisseurs. We'll have to do that next round as we do have everyone back in the lobby. And we're going to kick off round number five. That's probably my least favorite objective on this map. It's just so close. You spawn so far away. And to get places, you basically meet the enemy at the same time. Like Lambowski here as he comes around the corner. Chewy takes him down with a headshot. Balex pushing up now. And they're getting really pushy. Balex and Sweet Bean trade. Murphy now having to watch this angle. Chewy's going to rotate around Catmint. And Ace of Spades off of the objective. No one actually in the auto shop. All watching from far away angles. Chewie picks up Ace of Spades on the top of center roof. Takes a little bit of fall damage there. Also worth noting that I am pretty sure I don't have in-game comms. But I assure you, these people are talking to each other. You just can't hear it. Murphy has relocated onto the objective. Catmint still inside center, not on objective. Gonna have to crash if Murphy goes down. Drewski getting ready to push up into it. I mean, really, they could cat in the smoke. Drewski going around the outside. Ooh, this might work out well for him. Murphy's not ready for that one. Now Catmint has to crash on the objective. Doesn't know that Drewski's on it. And Drewski's pulling out his tablet. They're going to go for the 5-1 win. Drewski dropping down from above. Oh, and he's going to he's gonna walk back into Catmint's position. Catmint barely gets him. Catmint now coming out, but Chewie finds the final kill. And the rejects take map number one. Let's watch that cap save real quick before we leave. Drewski probably could have capped it from above. I'm not sure. But the rejects taking map number one, four to one. We're going to be moving on to map number two. Chewy with a 13 and one kill line. Very, very good. And if you don't know what map number two is from the audio cues, we're moving on to Subway. An oldie, but a goodie. Most of these teams that are playing this season don't remember when Subway was a death trap and there were only two ways down onto the platforms. There was only north and south stairs. There was no overpass. There was no tunnels. It was just north and south stairs. And now we have multiple approaches. We've got new objectives. And we're going to start off with the new objective. We're starting off with the top of the south stairs. Um, I'm not sure I've heard a consensus on the objective name. But for me, I would just call it South Alley. Because the only other alley objective would be Chinatown, and that's clearly Chinatown. So you can't really get them confused. That's all that matters, is that people know what you're talking about. But this is a new one. We've been seeing some really cool uh, offenses and defenses on this one. It's starting to become a little bit meta. We're seeing people take the trash can spot out of the overpass. Uh, and doing the two-man split with the trash can and then the corner covering each other uh, so that trash can has like a clacker or something and the corner is watching the approach onto him 
and it's working out pretty well. Uh, honestly, it's a great play. It just, it's a very, very expected play at this point, in my opinion, which makes for dull games. Sometimes you like to see how teams crack the meta defenses, but you know, sometimes I like seeing some out of the blue crazy defenses. And here we go. Map two, round one. How will the rejects defend? No, I'm wondering on the game audio now if it's related to the host being on quest. TB going to run down here, not going to see anything and going to opt to back off. You have clacker. Is that what you did? Did you throw a C4 down there? Are you a dirty, dirty C4 person? Yes, you did. There's a C4 somewhere down there. Probably on the roof. It looks like they see something. Are they, did they, did they see it? No. It's just sitting there on the ceiling. The other three opting to go down through the tunnels are going to come up on the backside of objective. Will that smoke convince him to blow that C4 early? Sweeping, getting danger close. Oh, this could be a double. When is he going to pull that trigger? He's going to miss his chance with the C4. He gets Sweet Bean if she has not moved up. Lambowski gets Drewski. TB gets Lambowski. Clears out that south approach. Get that one. He gets Sweet Bean if she has not. Apologies. I'm pretty sure that those replays are supposed to be muted. And they are muted now. Chewie picked up one coming out of the. Underground. I don't actually have a call out for this one either. Ace of spades with the flashlight here going to try and blind the attackers or the defenders. Sorry as they come out. Last two members of Murphy's Maniacs here. Not going back for Sweet Bean on the res, which would be pretty easy, and they have time, but they have to opt to do it now. Chat saying they want... First person views, let's give them first person views. Not that first person view. This is the one we want. <laughs> Goes the first person, switches to dead person on ground. Pure onward casting right there, guys. That's how it works. A flashlight gonna blind the corner, not gonna blind the corner enough. Flashbang getting ready to go out. Flashbang going out short. Had to get rid of it though, cooked it a little too long. Chewy peeking the corner. Ace of Spades gets the kill with the headshot. Another frag coming out. Flashbang instead, sorry. Now Smoke's rolling out. Veilux going to be ready for Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades needs to click that flashlight off when not needed. It does give away your position. You need to be able, need to be good at toggling it. Your left trigger or your offhand trigger on your weapon toggles it on and off so you can quickly switch it. Veilux getting prone. Going to be ready for this. Holding a very tight angle. Maybe even too tight. Because that's definitely a wall. Let's see how this plays out. Felix looking like he shot himself there a couple times. He's going to charge the corner. Captain Catman not ready for it. Felix gets two and the rejects take their first point. Not really sure what happened there at the beginning of that firefight or why Captain Catman was not prepared for a push after hearing the first round of gunshots. But Rejects taking their first point. Now, 
As we were saying before they switched maps on us, let's take a look at the rest of the matches this week and see what we've got cooking. There are 16 votes for Prestige versus Rome, which is on Thursday at 9 Eastern. Maybe I can pick that one up. We'll see. The biggest matchup of the week, highest voted for currently, is the Air 404 and OJC matchup Saturday at 9 Eastern with 57 votes for a cast. Noman and Wookie picking that up on Onward Master League 1. That's going to be a great game. Air 404 doing very well after joining the league. Air 404 also playing Thursday at 9 p.m. against Cold Steel. Another nice casted match, Nightfire and F. Lipinski on Honor Master League 1. We're here on Honor Master League 1 right now, and we're going to go into round number two on map number two. And we're going to see if the Maniacs can defend. This is the North... Uh, Chinatown spawn, a much closer spawn. And it looks like the rejects are going to get a little pushy. Chewie pushing up. Chewie's going to check the corner. Lambowski's waiting. And a trade comes out. Drewski and TB pushing up. Are they going to be ready for Murphy? Murphy in a common spot. Drewski's checking the corner. Murphy's spot is able to be tucked back far enough. Drewski checks for the trash can and goes down to Murphy on the backside. Smart play there. Not having someone at the trash can. But they still have to check it. TB does get Murphy. Throws a smoke out. C4 goes off. Barely misses TB. Now Sweet Bean's watching this corner. Ace of Spades pushing up. Captain Catman watching the corner over here in Sex Shop Alley. Valux going to come around the corner. Catman sees him, takes him down. Masu going to peek it. A grenade was flying. Captain Catman wasn't ready. Masu gets the kill, starts laying smoke onto the objective. Sweeping goes down to TB. Now Ace of Spades needs to be ready for this corner peek. TB knows that someone's there. Ace of Spades gets the kill, though. Needs to get back on objective. Masu's on objective tablet out. He's capping right now. The shot's into the smoke, not finding the kill. Ace of Spades loses the point. Cannot find the kill. And Masu gets the cap. I'm sorry. That was meant to be a full screen replay. We're going to watch this once again in full screen, but... The blind fire into the smoke. Obviously a good idea. But. You still need to go into the smoke and check it. And I'm not actually sure. I, I don't know if that fence. That fence I'm assuming is penetrable. But just not finding those kills unfortunately. And rejects going ahead with a massive lead. 3-0 in two rounds on map number two on Murphy's Maniac's choice. Nope, wrong point. I really hope Noman got those buttons working correctly. It looks like he can do math. And now, for the next objective, we're going to move down to the platform. But we're actually going downstairs. We have the downstairs objective. This one's been around for a while. Lots of teams, lots of experience, lots of positions to play. 
Now, I do like when teams opt to push more up top and get a little bit more uh, liquid, flowy, loose on their, their defensive positions. We've seen a couple get very aggressive and actually come up uh, these stairs here. We've seen people come up here and then opt to go down these stairs or wait here and then come down behind attackers in the tunnel which works out as a very good pinch as long as you've got someone at the end of the tunnel telling you when to start coming. Uh, normally, you would also do that via radio clicks. You don't want to give away that you're calling in for a flank. So if you have someone sitting, you know, over here in this corner where they can hear the footsteps or even at the end of the tunnel here where they can get in a firefight, you want to give like a, a signaled click to let your teammate know, hey, they're at the end of the tunnel. Your flank is good and start it. That's a little floating... Where's that? I saw floating bullet holes over there. Mr. Death, fix it. Did look like we had a drop on both sides, I think. This TB, I believe, was out of the lobby at the end of the last round. And now Murphy's Maniacs had a drop on their side. Now, chat, let me know what you think is going to be map number three. I think it's going to be... Hmm. <laughs> what? What could it be? Just a reminder that we are running rotating map pools for this season. So map pool number one, which is weeks one through five. We're currently on week four for those of you that are bad at math or hard at counting. Map pool is Suburbia, Sand, USS Quest, Bazaar, Subway, Downfall, Quarantine, and Snow Peak. Now, Snow Peak and USS Quest are out. Sand and Subway have already been picked, which leaves us Suburbia, Bazaar, Downfall, Quarantine. And I really want to say that we're probably going to end up seeing Suburbia. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me take a look at the map. Okay, map play page. That's a hard. That's a hard phrase to say. We can look at the team's map map history and see what they prefer, and maybe we'll get some inside knowledge onto the teams. So for the rejects, obviously not a whole lot of information, but their preferred map, it appears, is bizarre. They've won four out of four. And after that would be downfall. They've won three out of four. But again, they just started this season, so they don't have a whole lot of history. And for Murphy's Maniacs, their preferred map is actually... Well, USS Quest is 100% win rate for them, three for three which makes sense that the rejects banned it. But it looks like their second highest map is Suburbia. Seven out of 11 games won. So I'm thinking Suburbia, but their win percentages are also very close. They could, they could choose Bizarre, they're at 63% at a 64%. I don't know how much a percent makes up, you know, how much is we're better at this map and how much is we're, we're feeling it today. You know, you got to make those choices on the fly in the moment, which is why I like the current way Onward does this with the two map bands and then the choices. It lets you adjust your strategies as the match goes on. If you play, you pick a map and you say you pick sand and you get beaten on sand on your own map choice then maybe you want to opt to take a longer range map for your second choice because obviously they're doing very well on close range maps but it could also just be that they're doing very well on that particular map the other team could just be better at sand than you so you have to you have to judge that and make those decisions on the fly 
which leads to a lot of varying gameplay and you see you see teams pick maps that you they potentially might not choose just because they need to throw a wrench into the other team's plans they need to change it up they're betting on chaos and we like chaos i like chaos i don't know about the rest of the casters but i prefer personally prefer chaotic games but i'm not going to keep talking because I could. I could keep talking. I could subject you to my voice all night long. But we do have another drop on both sides. So I'm going to switch us over to intermission and make sure everything is still copacetic. And we will be back. Where our passion.
Uh. Well, I wasn't going to say we're going to hop into it, but it appears that the game just awarded a point to their own team. So we're going to go back to an intermission. I apologize. And we're going to sort this out. There's some technical difficulties here. Wear. Our passion
apologies for the long intermission there. We had a lobby bug. We had to reset and redo the points. We have a new objective. We got the sides right. Rejects currently leading with three points. They defended and then capped. And now they're on defense once again. And here we go. Murphy's Maniacs. Gonna be pushing through the tunnel in a two. There's a C4. Two, three, split up and down. Let's see where the other members of the team are. Here's Chewie. Once again, C4 is guarding both entrances. And if you stuck through with us through that intermission, we are just now on map number two. Potentially the last round, if Rejects can hold this defense. Murphy and Catmint. Both oh, danger close there. They didn't even see the C4. Is Reaper going to hear him? They're on top of each other. What is happening right now? I don't. I don't. I, I don't. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but we're going to watch it again. I mean, it doesn't even look like. Catmint realized that he was in the same corner. Didn't ask for consent, nothing. Just got all up in his business. Ooh, Chewie sees on a peak. Sees Ace of Spades and takes him down with a C4 as well. Tricky and Sweet being the last two Maniacs standing. All five rejects still up. Although I do believe we had some player swaps in all of that. Not sure where these two are planning on approaching from. It would be great if I could actually hear what they're saying. So I could explain to you. What their plan is but i'm just gonna make it up as they go tricky saying we're gonna go upstairs all the way back outside come through the overpass and just rain bullets down onto the objective i think sweet beans actually gonna go for the far side stairs here on the south or north downstairs stairs she's gonna put her in the firing line of masoo and Chewie, who are both waiting for someone. And if she's not quiet, she's going to be making footsteps. Coming up the stairs. I hate these stairs. You're so exposed from all sides. Literally 360 degrees of exposure. You can't cover yourself when you come up. And there it is. Chewie gets the kill on the backside of Sweet Bean. Potentially the worst grenade I've seen all week, although it is only Tuesday. <laughs> Sue trying to get that confirmation and just throwing completely over the stairs. A point blank grenade throw overshot. Now Tricky's gonna have to come up these stairs and deal with Reaper. Reaper is getting a little aggressive. Is he gonna push down here? Tricky's slowly moving up.
But he should have the drop on Reaper here, but will he be ready for TB at the end of the tracks playing prone down there? Goes for the headshot. Gets the kill. Scans the tracks. Doesn't see TB. Chewie also looking for some kills. Tricky gets in a firefight. Takes down the Sioux in a trade. And the rejects take their fourth point. Watch that final kill here. Yep. Tricky traded with Masu. I just wanted to make sure I had that right. And the rejects take map number two, 4-0. Now, we're moving on to map number three, which is going to be the OG downfall. Oh, again, the original maps have had new objectives added, but we are not going to be starting out on a new objective. We're actually going to be starting on Upper Dumpster. All right, here we go. Round one, map number three. Starting off, upper dumpster. Reject spawning in the North Hotel. Can they get these early shots? They're looking for the kills. Shots ringing out and not catching anything. Ace of spades with some long range shots. Downs Chewy. TB does get the res there, however. Seem to be having some technical issues with the stream. Apologies. For the stutter. Masu's gonna be pushing up onto Tricky now. Oh, he's not looking. And Masu trades with him. Long range shots from Drewski gets Murphy in the Marsoc twins. Marsoc North, she goes down. 
Sweet Bean to Captain Cack. Sweet Bean goes down too. Sweet Bean and Catmint are the only two left. No, Sweet Bean's down. Catmint and... Wait, where's the other one? Oh, Ace of Spades. Ace of spades with the long range shots on a Drewski. Clears out that center hotel, although he can't get the confirmation shots. Captain Catman, long range shots, kicks out TB in the Marsock Twins, but Chewie pushes up and gets Ace of Spades in the white building on a really hard pick into the window there. Catmint, the only maniac still standing. However, only 55 seconds left. Oh, Catmint checks the objective. Misses the shots on a Chewy, giving away his position. 40 seconds left. Can they make it to the objective? Catmint just needs to play the time here. Catman getting pushy, trying to get the shots on the Chewy. 23 seconds left. Still taking shots. They're coming up on the backside now. Oh, man. The stutters. Catman knows that Reaper's there. Comes around the corner, checks it. Does get the kill. But Chewy gets Catman and Murphy's Maniacs lose the point that I thought they had. Let's take a look at the score replay here 10 seconds left he gets the kill but then he gets picked up he didn't really have a choice We're trying to figure out what's causing this stutter real quick. So we can cast the game bit.
All right, here we go. We're hopping back into it. Round number two on map number three. Or not. Ground reset triggered. But that's okay. Oh, and they're starting to shoot, giving away their position. There's a drop on the reject side. Okay, here we go. Back into round two. Not the long range spawns. But Chewy gets Murphy. Did not mean to click on that. That is. The incorrect scene. I apologize for the stuttering. I am 100% blaming Onward's most recent patch. Th why? 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 Why is this happening to me? I blame Onward's most recent patch. Masu. Yeah, I can't. I can't even move the camera correctly. There appears to be a memory leak in the recent update, causing some issues. Chewy up in the tower at Marsoc Twins. gonna be going up trying to find chewy chewy's not ready for this oh, i didn't realize you could tuck in down there murphy's trying to get this kill above her but it's so hard to aim upwards she knows chewy's there does chewy know that she's underneath has to know now that they grabbed, uh, she's grabbing her gun, making noise. Catman's coming in the door. Catman gets missed as well. Chewy gonna get pushed hard. And they go down in a trade. Some chaos unfolding in the tower there. and I'd like to apologize to the viewers. I don't know what's causing this, but I'm going to restart onward between this round and the next and see if I can fix it. Because it appears to be game-related, not stream-related. Three minutes left on the clock. Four rejects still standing. Murphy running right in the line of fire for Reaper in the white building. Tries to get the shots back onto 
them. However, TB ready with the PKM on the long shots to the valley. Oh, TB almost taking out a friendly there. What is happening? Masu gets Sweet Bean. Ace of Spades with the 4X, trying to get those long range shots on the Reaper from across the map. Needs to start moving. Only 2 minutes and 18 seconds left on the clock. And he is very far away from the objective. Captain Catmint pushing the objective now, but there's still a player alive in white building, and they find Captain Catmint on the backside going for the objective. Now it's all up to Ace of Spades. Drewski not aware that that's a friendly up in the white building. Oh my god. Every time it stutters, the camera just pauses, and then jumps. Ace of Spades pushing up 48 seconds left on the clock. Gonna go for the ballsy cap. Might actually have a chance. But Masu is there. If Masu's not looking at the right time, Ace of Spades can do this. If they're slow, if they're quiet, they make it behind the wall and Masu's not looking, but Masu sees him. And the rejects take the second point. All right. We're going to run to a quick intermission. We're going to fix this. Be right back.
our wear. Our passion. All right, we're back. We're going in round four. Sorry, we missed a round. The rejects did take that one. But I think I've solved the issue. Hopefully. Maybe. I still blame Onward. Uh, let's fix that score. Real quick. That is the current score. Now we're back into the gameplay. I'm blaming the lobby at this point. We're gonna try and power through it. Sweet Bean gets Reaper. Wait, where's Sweet Bean at? Sweet Bean picking up Reaper. Captain Catman and Murphy pushing down aggressively. Sweet Bean and Chewy trade. gets TB. Objective is lower dumpster, by the way. If I didn't bring that up, it's right there. You can see it. And there's only one reject left. Murphy's pushing up on it. This is a cap. Murphy just needs to get her tablet out. Drewski not aware all the time in the world. Now he's making the rotation. Is Murphy going to get the cap in? Catnip takes the kill instead, protecting Murphy and taking a single point for the Maniacs.
right, we're gonna we're gonna see something. We're just trying to get we're trying to get information at this point, people. We don't know what's going on. But now there's no lag. No stutter. Everything's Gucci. Look how smooth that is. This is how I want the replays to be. This is how I want the casting to be. Round five, map number three. Turn those lasers on there. The long range shots. Drewski gets Murphy. She took too long to get up into that North Watch building. Sweeping a Reaper putting shots down range. And it's back. The stutters. Stuck on another one. Chewy and Chewy in the Marsock Tower. The rejects slowly encircling the objective. Long range shots from Sweet Bean trying to pin down that window at upper red truck. Chewie gets tricky and he goes flying off the map, but somehow gets confirmed by Chewie. Doesn't seem like the uh, audio direction on these shots is correct either on my screen. I hear drone. Wait, I'm hearing. Yeah, something is is wrong here. The drone does go down. Smoke's coming out from upper red truck, pushing down onto the objective. Yeah, my sounds are inverted. Uh, so if, if things sound weird, um, that's what's happening. Captain Catman, last man standing on objective. Rejects just need the kill. There it is. Rejects take that. Final map for... Two... One. Now, again, I want to apologize to everyone at home that had to watch that. It was hard for me to uh, to watch on the casting desk. We're going to figure out what the problem is, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. You shouldn't see any more casts like that. But the rejects take it 12. Is that right? Yeah, 12 to 2 upsetting the connoisseurs who were leaning heavily in the maniacs side uh, we are going to run the replays because we should have a 
nice highlight reel here. So we're going to run the highlights and then credits, and we will see you later. I don't want to keep you here any longer on a Tuesday night. I want to get to the bottom of these issues and bring you some more onward action later this week. So with that, I'm your host, Trip, and I am signing out. Clear all the way into the corner. They're rushing it. They know that someone's there. Someone's probably there. She sweet bean comes around the corner and does not find the kill. Chewie takes down Captain Catman. Now the objective is open. Chewie not going for it. Ace of Spades gets TB. Chewie takes some shots. He's going for the objective. He's on the objective, but he doesn't go for the cap. He gets the kill instead. Ace of Spades gets one. Masu almost getting caught in that one as well. The res is going to come out. The screams might have been heard the res is trying to happen murphy's looking for the second frag she does get it she's looking for the final kill on a tb they're looking for each other and it's a trade and murphy's maniacs take the point and to get places you basically meet the enemy at the same time like lambowski here as he comes around the corner chewy takes him down with a headshot Balex pushing up now on objective gonna have to crash if murphy goes down Drewski getting ready to push up into it. I mean, really, they could catch in the smoke. Drewski going around the outside. Ooh, this might work out well for him. Murphy's not ready for that one. Drewski's pulling out his tablet. They're going to go for the 5-1 win. Drewski dropping down from above. Oh, and he's going to go. He's going to walk back into Catman's position. Catman barely gets him. He gets Sweet Bean if she has not moved up. Lambowski gets Drewski. TB gets Lambowski. Clears out that south approach. Balex looking like he shot himself there a couple times. He's going to charge the corner. Captain Catman not ready for it. Balex gets two, and the rejects take their first point. Chewie pushing up. Chewie's going to check the corner. Lambowski's waiting. And a trade comes out. Now Drewski and TB pushing up. Are they going to be ready for Murphy? Murphy in a common spot. Drewski's checking the corner. Murphy's spot is able to be tucked back far enough. Drewski checks for the trash can and goes down to Murphy. On, goes down to Murphy on the backside. Smart play there. Not having someone at the trash can. But they still have to check it. TB does get Murphy. Throws a smoke out. C4 goes off. Barely misses TB. Captain Catman watching the corner over here in Sex Shop Alley. Valux going to come around the corner. Catman sees him, takes him down. Objective Masu's on objective tablet out. He's capping right now. The shot's into the smoke, not finding the kill. Ace of Spades loses the point. Cannot find the kill. Is Reaper going to hear him? They're on top of each other. What is happening right now? I don't... I don't... I, I don't same corner didn't ask for consent nothing just got all up in his business Ooh, Chewie sees on a peak sees ace of spades and takes him down literally 360 degrees of exposure you can't cover yourself when you come up and there it is Chewie gets the kill on the backside of sweet bean scans the tracks doesn't see tb Chewie also looking for some kills Tricky gets in a firefight, takes down the Sioux in a trade for the kills. Shots ringing out, not catching anything. Ace of spades with some long range shots, downs Chewy. The Sioux's gonna be pushing up onto Tricky now. Oh, he's not looking. Some long range shots from Drewski gets Murphy in the Marsock twins. Marsock North, she goes down. Sweet Bean to Captain Cat. Sweet Bean goes down too. Ace of Spades with the long range shots on a Drewski. Clears out that center hotel, although he can't get the confirmation shots. Oh man. Stutters. Catman knows that Reaper's there. Comes around the corner, checks it. Does get the kill. But Chewie gets Catman. She's grabbing her gun, making noise. 
Catman's coming in the door. Catman gets missed as well. And Chewie gonna get pushed hard. And they go down in a trade. They're either out of the tunnels or through this opening. And they're gonna be making those footsteps. They're clearing their corners, but they gotta clear all the way into the corner. They're rushing it. They know that someone's there. Someone's probably there. Sweet Bean comes around the corner and does not find the kill. Chewie takes down Captain Catman. Now the objective is open. Chewie not going for it. Ace of Spades gets TB. Chewie takes some shots. He's going for the objective. He's on the objective, but he doesn't go for the cap. He gets the kill instead. Ace of Spades gets one. Masu almost getting caught in that one as well. The res is going to come out. The screams might have been heard. The res is trying to happen. Murphy's looking for the second frag. She does get it. Looking for the final kill on a TB. They're looking for each other. And it's a trade. And Murphy's Maniacs take the point. And to get places, you basically meet the enemy at the same time, like Lambowski here as he comes around the corner. Chewy